So, going to Mexico. So I'm just here to talk today about just a missional opportunity that you guys are going to have coming up here April 28th through May 1st. So we're going to be going on a trip down to I-68 Mexico. That's where Taylor and Farron are located. I just kind of want to get a feel for the room. How many of you guys have been on like a house build before? Here's your hand. Cool. Just so, so compared to other house builds that I've just heard about or talked to people about, I just love the way I-68 does their missional. Just kind of want to let you know, they're just a very intentional. They're within the barrio of Puerto Peñasco or Rocky Point. They're just doing multiple ministries out of there. They have like a coffee shop. They have a gym and outreach. They have a music center. I was on a build. If you want to flip to the next slide for the music center that was built there. So they're not just building houses for people, but they're engaging people in a gospel call and sharing gospel through different min ministries. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is a, just a house build that we did recently. And um, you get a good chance to just be with people in the community. So you see a lot of people coming out. They have kids that are constantly coming out and running around as we're building the house. And we also have people from the community that want to just help build the house for other people in the community. So you get a lot of chance to interact with locals as well as other uh, coming with the trips, we have a couple groups coming with us as well, so we'll get a good chance to just mingle with other Christians who are coming down to do that, but also do outreach into the areas. Um, those of you who cannot just are not physically able or are not interested in construction by any means, have, will also have opportunities there. There's, as I said, just a lot of kids that are running around, and you'll get a chance to play with them. You also get a chance to, I think, serve. We'll get to see a little bit of Taylor and Farron's ministry as well within that and probably take small groups and kind of just see what they're doing around there. So if you're not um, just constructionally inclined, you're not very good at working with your hands, but even that, like as you see here, we have people from all different backgrounds. I have no idea what I'm doing right there and they still put me on there with a hammer. So it's like, like you just get an opportunity to get out of your comfort zone. So I would just encourage you guys all to just engage in this ministry, like this ministry opportunity um, I just also, it's my heart for this too, is just, it's a great time. I had the privilege of growing up with a mom that was Mexican and a dad that was American. So I get to see different cultural aspects of this. And what we're doing here when you guys go on the mission trip is get to see different cultures in action. So when you're in here in Phoenix, which is multicultural, you guys, we have to just start to understand, and I want to get better at understanding just different people coming from different cultures and backgrounds. They're not gonna. We're, they're not gonna always agree with us. They're not gonna think the same as us. They're not gonna always just believe in what we believe. Coming from different ethical, social, and economical, any type of background, we just don't know. Everybody is different. But by just engaging with different people in different cultures, we can start to understand people better and pursue their hearts better. Because regardless of all those differences, they still need the gospel. That is what we're here to do. And as much as it is a physical house build, we're also there to minister to the people, minister to the groups coming with us as well, the Christians there, but also the non-believers that are there that are going to be around us. And then take what we've learned in Mexico and apply it to Peoria, apply it to Phoenix, apply it to the surrounding areas, understanding people better. So I just think this is a great opportunity. If you just want to flip to the slide, I kind of want to go over some logistics too. too. Um, that's just kind of a breakdown of what we're doing. It'll be breakfast, a devotional, and then the build for most of the days. We'll be going down on Friday in a big caravan, whoever is coming along. We'll go down Friday. We'll set up. We're just going to fellowship, hang out. They're probably going to give us a rundown, and then we're going to have breakfast and start building the next morning. First day is going to be frame and roof, usually, like framing and roof, roofing, and then they'll finish up the roof maybe do electrical. I don't know what they're doing with this build. And then the first coat of stucco goes on. And then Monday, the second coat of stucco will go on and we'll actually dedicate the house. So I haven't gotten a chance to do this yet, but we hand off the keys to the family. And then I think it's just a worship service in there. We pray with the family. We hand off the keys. They said it's just a very emotional time. So I'm looking forward to seeing a family get a house. They don't know which family is going to get the house. So right now they're praying for a family in the community. They don't know who it's going to be. But about two to three weeks before the build, we'll know. So just, we'll, but we'll start praying for the family now. We don't know who it's going to be. And just for the people who are going to join us on the missions trip. Um, next slide, please. 
So cost, just logistics. Individual cost, $500 per person. It's a little expensive, I know, but it's, it's covering the cost of the building materials there. It's not just going towards like us, but it also will cover our insurance down there though. So you are covered on the build. Any car insurance that you want to get though is with you guys. I just want to let you guys know that up front. But medical wise, if you get hurt on the build, you're covered by I-68. And also just that's all going to the building materials for the family. So if you're a family, it's going to cap out at 1500 So if you have like four or five people and you're like, I'm not paying $2,500 to go down to Mexico, then it caps out at 1500 And then if you really are in need of it, there are scholarships available, but I-68 would like to put that money towards the build. So just letting you guys know those options. And then I think there might be one more slide. Yep, so 30 to 40 spots available. We have a lot of room. So just whoever would like to come on the trip, you're welcome. Um, you can, the money of the trip's due by March 8th, or 28th, sorry. That's just about a month out before the build. And then on just signing up for the build, they would like just a deposit to reserve a spot. Um, we can be flexible with that, of course, guys, because we, we have uh, 30 to 40 spots available. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have my con, there's my contact information right there. If you want to take a picture, um, I was it in the bulletin as well? Yeah, my contact in the invitation or uh, information is also in the bulletin. So you can feel free to reach out. I prefer the phone number if you guys can do that, but I will also be looking at my email, and I'll just kind of put you on a sign up list as well. If you are looking to just go. If you're going to put money towards that, you can fill out one of these. You have to put I-68 trip and then put it in the offering box. I-68 trip. So they just don't get confused with the other money going to Taylor and Fair. So um, that's pretty much it. I just kind of want to, huh? Oh, yes, you guys need a passport because you're going down into Mexico. Um, and then I don't know if the star covers it. I know the new driver's license have the star. I don't know if that's covering it at all, but get a passport and you can start looking at the passport information now. If you need help with that, just let me know too. So um, that's pretty much it. I kind of just want to pray towards that. Just end, if you can take pictures right now. Of, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little nervous when there's a lot of people up front in front of Mike. I know I'm usually charismatic, I'm like, ah, but like, but um, so I just want to pray for that family. We don't know who they're gonna be, but just also just the impact that they're gonna, that, um, we're looking to have down there in Mexico. So, Lord, I just pray right now. I just pray for that family, Lord, whoever that family is, that they just they just be ready to receive this house, Lord Jesus. That they ready that they're ready that the Spirit just moves in them. That out of this house, just ministries form, Lord Jesus. That they invite people into their home. That they just minister to the people in their community. That that community just continues to grow and grow. That, that they just continue to carry on the work that I six eight has started. Um, we just pray for Taylor and Farron and their ministry, Lord, as that's getting started. That um, we can come down and partner with them, Lord Jesus. That we can partner with I six eight. That we can just be there, be present, be just humble servants of Jesus in that space, Lord Jesus. We know that you can do a mighty work with a humble servant, Lord, that you have made us into instruments of righteousness, Lord. So we just, just pray right now that that trip just be blessed, Lord Jesus, that we get the right people in there. We know that whoever just decides to go on that trip, whoever is down there is who you need down there in that moment, Lord Jesus. That, um, Lord, that we just use it as much as with just physical labor, Lord, this is also spiritual, Lord. And we just pray that the people in that community are impacted, that we're impacted, Lord, that we can take that and that we realize that over all else that your gospel is what we need to be proclaiming, Lord Jesus, that your gospel is what we need and what the people need down there, that the people need in Phoenix, in Peoria. So right now, as much as there's a mission trip going on down in Mexico on April 28th, that there's a mission trip, there's just missions going on everywhere right now, presently in Arizona, Lord, that we just take this, that we seek to understand the people that we are ministering to, that we be just slow to speak and just quick to listen to them, Lord Jesus, and also just understanding where they're coming from and their background, and then speaking truth, just speaking truth into that with, with grace and truth, Lord, we want to walk and we want to speak out just your gospel message, Lord. Because how will they call on him if they, whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him who they have never heard? And how are they to hear 
without someone preaching, Lord. So let's just, right now, Lord, just in our hearts, just spark this, just the desire and wanting to just understand people and just speak life into them, Lord. Speak truth into the darkness that is surrounding us in this world, Lord Jesus, that when the culture is pushing against us, Lord, that we stand in truth. We stand on a firm foundation, a rock that will never move. You are the power, Lord. You are the glory. So we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity to go down to Mexico. We thank you the opportunity to go out into just Arizona right now here today as just sons and daughters of the king, ready to spread this good news. We just thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so on the passport, just if you don't know...